just want to make a, an example out of me to get to Donald Trump. They want to make sure this is a conspiracy. It's like, is you got the Congress in collusion with the White House, tacit or explicit, don't know which, we'll find that out in discovery, um, in order to prevent Donald Trump from running for president in 2024 and taking the Oval uh, back in 2025. That's what this is about. Make no mistake about that. And Merrick Garlick, the, the buck stops at Merrick Garland's desk because that that SOB allowed this to happen. You don't do this, Merrick. You don't do this to people like that. You don't put people like me in leg irons when just as easily I could have voluntarily appeared and. Peter Navarro, for some reason, speaks like a bad basketball coach for a losing team. He has to always use his hands. Anyways, so Peter Navarro is sick and tired of being treated like a common criminal, getting arrested for breaking the law. Crazy how that works. You know what? That SLB Merrick Garland, it's his fault because he's raging. He's a fire breather. He's coming after everybody because that's what Merrick Garland does. Either way, it goes. The main part about this that I took from his rant there is he shouldn't be treated this way. Let's look at this tweet that saw what I think everyone saw in this. So it's from Hamilton Waverly says, people like me, she quoted him as saying, because it's weird, because also she tweeted, it's funny, I've never heard Peter Navarro, Jason Miller, or any of their Confederates say, why didn't the police call George Floyd and tell him to meet at the courthouse about an alleged counterfeit bill? I think I know why, because he's not people like me. He's that other kind of person that deserves that kind of treatment. Again, the reasons why we think society allows these things to happen and they can just get away with talking like this. Um, Cuz you know there's America, equality and all that good stuff. Um, so at the tail of this, he continues on, but he has an issue with having to deal with all these legal issues. Cuz this is what we concern ourselves with when people get arrested, watch more. I mean, it's just, I mean, this is so wrong, Seb, and this book, Taking back Trump's America, help me please. I'm looking at a half a million dollars in legal expenses, according to some legal experts, or more. This could go to a million. I've got to raise that money. I I, I can't kill my retirement by by defending this, this these baseless charges. Taking back Trump's America, please go to Amazon right now. Right, order guys, that book. The book, the book and- can be. Please, you guys, help me, help me. I need some money. I listen. I can't. I can't destroy my retirement. Um, I need you guys to raise some funds for me. This is too much for me. Please help me. Uh, so yes, uh, imagine any other person who gets arrested says this is going to cost too much money. You guys, please help me. I only broke the law. Hey, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. I've heard many Republicans say that before. Yeah, I mean, he does point out actually a really good point about the American legal system. If you get sued, even if you're not guilty, even if you didn't do the thing that someone is accusing you of doing, it's a huge expense and most people can't afford to pay it. And so they get subpar representation in the in the courts and they suffer for it, even though they may or may not have actually done anything. But Peter Navarro is not that person. It seems like he's trying to pull a, tr- a classic Trump grift, right? Where he has all of his sycophants and all of his supporters basically paying all of his legal fees, donating to all these bogus campaigns and things like that. 